So we're down here in South County, Rhode Island today. This is a new project under construction. We started this about a month ago and we're down in an area called Green Hill Beach, Rhode Island. It's a beautiful area of Rhode Island. And this is a new custom home under construction. This is actually going to be a certified passive house. So you may have heard that term before, um, but you might not know what it means. So what is a passive house? I'm going to try and explain it in five areas that I think define a passive house. So number one, thermal control, right? When it's cold outside, we want to make sure that the inside of the house is warm. And then the opposite of that, when it's, we want to have the house cool inside when it's hot outside. Uh, number two, air control, right? Really paying attention to proper air sealing techniques because we want a really airtight home that's going to be able to manage the air quality of that home. Number three, energy efficiency. So we're going to do this in a couple different ways, right? Um, and what we're selecting for our HVAC equipment um, and making sure that we are uh, exchanging the air properly. And we're going to do that through an ERV, an energy recovery ventilator. Number four, insulation, right? To achieve passive house insulation standards, we're going to have very high insulation values, R75 in the roof, an R46 in the wall, and an R8, eight and a half under our sub slab. And number five, comfort, right? All of those previous four things tie into comfort. All of these things are going to make the indoor air quality of the home very comfortable for that homeowner. So that being said, let's go inside the house and take a full tour. So we're down here on the ground level. So we're in the two car garage here. So coming in off the road, we've got a nice, uh, slightly winding driveway that will come up to approach the house here. Um, so two car garage, and then we'll have an interior uh, wall partition here. And I say interior because this wall is going to separate the unconditioned space, which is the garage, from the conditioned space, which is on the other side of this wall. Um, so starting on the left here, we're actually gonna have a double door here that's gonna allow uh, the client to pull a car in here. Uh, he has uh, a hobby of working on uh, older cars, race cars actually, so this is gonna be a space for him to be able to work uh, on his cars and uh, be able to enjoy his hobby. Um, and that'll be a conditioned workshop space for him that will have a wall down the middle. And on the other side of the center uh, dividing wall, uh, we'll have a door here. This will lead to the mud room. So um, coming home, pulling into the garage, you'll come in, open this door, come into a nice warm uh, or cool mud room space. Um, and that'll have the access to the stairs to go up to the first floor. And then in the back corner here, all the way in that uh, back right corner against the wall, we have a nice sizable uh, mechanical room. Uh, so let's go upstairs um, and look at the first floor layout. So up here on the uh, first floor now, this is the main uh, living level. We'll start right here, right on my right, you can see a nice big opening. This is going to be um, a nice big wide uh, door here. It's gonna go out to a good size deck. And as we migrate down to this end of the building, you can see we've got a nice vaulted space here and a lot of large windows. And, and I love this corner window detail here. We've got these two large uh, window units right on the corner. Uh, the sun sets over there, so nice sunsets in uh, the evening. Good light coming in over here because this side of the house faces south. Um, and you can see the whole uh, lot around has a lot of greenery, so um, nice visual to look out and be able to see all that greenery. So this will be the dining room. We'll have the living room over here. Um, in recent conversations with my client, uh, we've been talking about adding a uh, fireplace here to this wall. Um, so I think that is in the works. The deck's gonna be right off the kitchen. So big kitchen island here, uh, you know, L-shaped kitchen, uh, cabinetry on these two walls. And again, all of this space is connected, right? The kitchen, the island, the dining, the living room, wide open floor plan, vaulted ceilings, lots of lights. This is gonna be a really nice space. So off the kitchen here, this is where the house kind of changes direction, right? We've got this north-south orientation. Um, closet here on my right. There's a powder room behind that, which is right off uh, the front entryway here. A little uh, linen closet, stairs down to uh, the basement and mud room and that, those areas we talked about earlier. Off to my left here, this is uh, a nice size laundry room. And then you come down into the owner's suite here where we've got um, four really nice windows. Um, 
here in the owner's bedroom. So this is letting in a lot of light, good size bedroom. And then off the bedroom, we have uh, his and her closets. So two walk-in closets and then a good size bathroom here around the corner uh, for the owners. Upstairs, we've got a loft slash office space and one more bedroom. Let's go take a look. So as I come up to the second floor, I'm immediately in the uh, loft or office space. Um, so we'll have a little balcony here uh, and the door going out to the balcony. Um, good size window here. Again, this is facing south and west, so nice light coming in here. Lots of greenery through those uh, window views. So we'll have a railing here. It's not going to be a wall. So that's why we're kind of calling it a loft space. And as we come down here uh, to the other end of the second floor, full bathroom and then a guest bedroom. Good size guest bedroom, three different size windows. This one's up a little higher for a bed, for privacy. This one takes in uh, the light and sunset views. And um, this is facing east, so nice morning light coming in there. And of course, the closet here in the bedroom. Guys, if you're not uh, currently subscribing, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to give me a follow on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next week.